uh, distillation under vacuum and we're also going to be water free. Um, so in here I have solvent that's been drying over calcium hydride and I now want to distill off the solvent and leave the calcium hydride in here and I'm going to distill it into this flask which is a clean flask but it's not completely dry so we're going to dry this under heat and vacuum first. So.
beliefs, oxygen and air can leak in and will distill in this glass in the liquid nitrogen. And that is a big hazard. So this is nice and cool. This whole thing is in a vacuum. So now actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna close off the vacuum up here so that this is now a closed system. And we're gonna open up this valve slowly so that this pressure is gonna get distributed all through because this is still under nitrogen. So that happened. Because this is such a large flask, the pressure inside here is probably not very low right now. So we're actually going to close this off and put the whole thing under vacuum again. See if you can still hear the difference. So now a lot of the nitrogen has been removed. bubbles being formed here. So this solvent is starting to boil. Now to get it to go a bit faster, we're going to increase the vacuum. There's just a little bit of solvent left in here. A little bit of solvent left in there, and there's some that's still trying to get out there. We'll forget about that for now. On this side, you can see there's quite a lot of solvent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this whole thing up to vacuum again. Once this is nice and cool. Make sure all this is frozen. All the salmon in here is frozen, so we're gonna evacuate everything. Come out. Okay. And then we will close up this glass. So 
this is open to the nitrogen and as the air, as the nitrogen in here is going to heat up and expand, all excess pressure can just exit through the pipeline. But in order to let this warm up, we want this glass to warm up nice and evenly so it doesn't crack. So how are we going to do that? Actually, want something that's not too hot, so I'm gonna open up so it has a lot of air going through, but not too hot. And then just start at the top. or the solid part is nice and loose and it can just melt on its own now. So we'll just let this sit here and warm up by itself the rest of the way. <laughs> 